Come and welcome very talented Stuart Armstrong, everybody. Man, it is absolutely great to be here. I got to tell you, I have worked damn hard to get where I am right now. Those two steps, damn hard. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm winded. Uh, my name is Stu, uh, and uh, I got to tell you, I don't know that many Stews. I mean, it's sort of one of these uncommon, common names. Somewhere between the name like Steve and Stetson. Uh, I, actually, I actually knew a Stetson. Uh, he had a sex change. She now goes by the name Fedora. Uh, that was right off the top of my head, by the way. But you would think that, that Stu, it's a nice short name, three letters, S-T-U. It shouldn't be a problem, but I have problems with it. I go to Starbucks in the morning. I walk my two dogs, two chihuahuas, named Joey and Cooper. Don't judge, okay, guys? And uh, we go to Starbucks, and uh, I order a uh, tall Americano. And uh, I bring the dogs, because they like to go. I call it Starbucks to them. Come on. Um, and when I order the tall Americano, I always laugh a little bit. I think it's funny. It sounds like I'm ordering a human being. You know, tall, American, but Italian. It wouldn't be bad. You know, I could bring him home. He could live in the kitchen. I could order coffee in the morning. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> tall Americano. Tall Americano, please. Por favor. Uh, uh, and my wife would be completely into it. Because about three weeks ago, she told me she went out and she got herself a Brazilian. Uh, I, uh, I didn't want to be one up, one up so uh, last week I was in Florida, brought myself back a Cuban. Uh, I got to say, the apartment's getting a little crowded, but the Brazilian and the Cuban, getting along great. That, that, by the way, is my Clinton impersonation, because the voice was not working. Uh, but uh, getting back to Starbucks, uh, I order my tall Americano, uh, and, uh, and they say, oh, oh, that's just great. Uh, may I have your name for the order, please? Stu. And then he starts. S-T-E-W. No, I'm sorry, Stu, not Stu, Stu. Yeah, and... S-T-E, I don't go back there anymore. He treats me like pieces of meat. <laughs> I go to Dunkin', Dunkin' Donuts now with the dogs. Come on, boys, we're going to Dunkin' Dog Nuts. They're very happy about that. <laughs> now, I know, folks, that uh, these jokes, uh, they're not the greatest. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really did not expect to get a laugh at that. <laughs> the, uh, but I, I, this is the culmination of a six-week introduction to stand-up comedy class. And uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I knew that, that uh, timing was important. Oh, uh, yeah, timing is important, right? I'm 58 years old. I've never done this before. How's that for fucking timing? Right? There, was a, there, was actually, there, was a, there was a session in class on timing. I was late. I missed it. And I got to tell you, I'm missing a lot at 58. Uh, I, I, I don't know where I am. Uh, well, I, I physically, I know where I am right now, but in category, I don't know what category I'm in. Uh, am I middle-aged? 58, middle. 116? No, that doesn't quite work. I'm not middle-aged, but I'm not a senior either. I mean, what am I? I know what I am. I am an in-betweener. I am a tween from another scene. 
I am Twelderly. And it's damn good to be Twelderly because there's a shitload of us out there. Baby boomers, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're mostly past their bedtime, but the, you know, the market caters to us. And we also have our own TV channel, our own TV network, CBS. Okay? And they have a great lineup coming up. How I Met Your Grandmother, fabulous. Love that show, right? And reality shows, too. Like, so you think you can walk. <laughs> And, and, and Survivor, yeah, come on. Uh, so, and, and Survivor, and it's not the one with the island and that guy Jeff. It's just about some old guy trying to stay alive. Um, it's very slow paced, but spellbinding. Um, my wife and I, we like to watch TV in the evening. We watch our favorite show, NCIS Boca Raton, <laughs> with uh, Betty White and Don Rickles uh, fighting gravity and incontinence. And occasionally they get out of the house and they fight bingo fraud. It's captivating. <laughs> And we invite over the, guy, the folks in our house. We invite over the tall Americano and the Cuban. My wife has asked the Brazilian to leave to high maintenance. Thanks a lot, everybody.